We get asked, what is the best crochet hook? So I scoured the internet to find the best crochet hook for you. Having the right crochet hook can make all the difference in your crochet enjoyment. So when you look for a crochet hook, keep these characteristics in mind. Thumb rest, so this can help you keep track of which direction your hook is pointing. Material, some have more grip than others. Feel, so what surface and shape of handle feels best for you. Aesthetics, do looks matter to you? Maybe, maybe not. Wait, so you might love the feel of a heavier hook, or once you're knee deep into a project, wish you'd opted for that lighter version. Shaft length, so your preference will depend on how you hold your hook and what types of stitches you're working. Portability, do you carry your projects with you? Then you might prefer a simple, sleek design. Price, more expensive doesn't mean better for you. You wanna look for the qualities of hook you love. And before we jump in, I had to tell you we have a new pattern this week by Jane Mancellis called Embers. It features stunning lacy crochet stitches and a beautiful, lovely gradient that resembles a flickering flame. I love the shape on this one. It hugs the shoulders and just wears so well. Jane used our Amal fingering yarn, which has little flecks of linen throughout, so it adds a soft little rustic flair to this pattern. You can get the pattern and yarn at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there, go ahead and sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. And just a quick note, all the links to all the hooks I'm about to show you will be in the description box for you. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you my favorite style of crochet hook. I bought this set because of the adorable mermaid design. These are so cute and colorful and the set comes with nine sizes. They do have these warm rounded polymer clay handles which feel really nice in the hand. These do have a longer shaft and I will be saying shaft a lot in this video. Uh, so they're great if you hold your hook farther back. They don't have a thumb rest, which I do prefer to have one because it just helps me to crochet a little faster because I know which direction my hook is pointing. This is a lovely little set with flat wooden handles that I find nice and easy to grip. They're also very lightweight, which I find fabulous because I feel like your wrist isn't gonna get tired with all those hours of crocheting. They do have a shorter shaft length than the mermaid ones I showed you, which is great if you hold your hook a little closer to the head. I feel like this would be a great, nice little lineup to your crochet hook collection, especially for the price. These are all about the handles. I bought these for the cute little animal shapes. Are they all animal? Animals? I'm not sure, but I love them. They feel warm and grippy in the hands, and for me, they have a nice, useful little thumb rest. I will say, for me, as I was using them wearing long sleeves, they were catching on my sleeve a little bit, so just something to keep in mind. However, if you want something unique and definitely a conversation starter with your crochet friends, then these are super fun. I bought this hook for the beautiful, fancy, marbled handle. It did come as a single, so this hook alone costs about the same as the sets that we've been talking about. It's made out of this beautiful marbled resin, which feels really nice. It's slick and warm and has a nice grip to it. It. Weight is settled at the back, so that's great if you hold your hook farther back. Um, not so great if you hold your hook towards the front like me. Overall, I think it's a very beautiful and elegant single hook. This eight-piece set is unique because of the arched handles. And they have this fun little porcelain print on them with blue tips which is why I bought them. They feel very nice. I feel like as I'm crocheting, they're hugging my hand and really working with me here. They're very lightweight with a nice little grip, so yeah. Great little set. Ooh, these are so pretty. I love the pink floral handles. They're nice and lightweight, a medium shaft length, and they have a thumb grip. You get eight pieces to the set, and I think they're just adorable. I can't fault them. I wanted to order in some big crochet hooks too. So these will be perfect if you crochet lots of chunky things like blankets, pillows, and rugs. Being metal, they are fairly heavy, but with larger projects, you're working fewer stitches anyway, so it really shouldn't be too much of an issue. I do love how smooth and silky they are, and since they're metal, they'll be cooler to the touch. This is a huge 15 piece set that goes all the way up to 25 millimeters. These are also great for those big chunky monkey projects. Also, these are made out of wood. So they are warmer, they have a nice grip to them, which some beginners find a little easier. So you could try that and see what you think. These are elegant and simple. Just make sure with wood that they don't have any rough spots or they may catch on your yarn. I can't wait any longer to show you this unique set. It lights up. So if you're watching a movie or sitting in bed at night, you'll be able to see your crochet. Super cool. I love that it comes with nine different heads and you can store the hook with one of the heads still attached. The thumb rest is farther back. So great, again, if you hold your hook farther back like this. If you hold a little closer, you're gonna be grabbing this little round part here. I also love that it comes with a case, a charger, and some free little stitch markers. This 10 piece set is super compact, comes with little stitch markers, and as you can see, is double-ended. Now the sizes do repeat, so it's not 20 different sizes. This is great if you're on a budget or just as an extra little backup set to keep in your project bag. And they feel great. I actually love crocheting with these and I would reach for them and use them for my projects. I would call this the very grippy set in a cute flower bag. I bought these for the bag, but you do get 14 pieces with this set. It also came with some free stitch markers and darning needles, which are always handy. And I have to say these are very grippy. These are not going anywhere. And they have great little thumb rests. So yeah, a great all-around little set. So this is a fabulous row and stitch counting interchangeable set. This is one of the pricier sets so far. You do get nine sizes and this cute little case. And you will never have to go scrounge for scrap paper or a row and stitch counter ever again. So this is wonderful for the precise crocheter who likes to make sure that you are crocheting every stitch and every row accurately. And although it looks heavy, it's really not. It's fairly lightweight and it has a nice little thumb grip. And just as a note with this set, I did find you do have to take the head off before you store the hook back in its case. And for the few of you that may ask, what are my favorite crochet hooks and why? First of all, I am a little bit of a weird crochet 
crocheter and then I switch back and forth between the pencil style hold and the knife style hold so a short shaft is a must that may or may not be true for you so I typically reach for my Susan Bates set it's nice and lightweight it's simple it has a beautiful little thumb rest with a short shaft nice and close to the head which I love I like the pointy tips they slip right into stitches easily I like the different colors and it's just a great simple set that works for virtually all of my projects so you may be different so I would love to hear from you what kind of crochet hooks do you prefer and what kind of traits do you look for in your favorite hooks and if you would love for me to review other items definitely let me know what you're interested in learning about and I will see what I can do so go out and have an amazing day my friend be sure to download the embers pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and I will see you next week with yet another new pattern price price sorry <laughs> price sorry once I mess up and then it's just a price okay price more expensive doesn't necessarily mean better for you so okay <laughs> price price <laughs> What well, well, I'm hanging up is because should I say, and finally, price. Price. More expensive doesn't mean better for you. You want to look for the characteristic? Price. <laughs> price. <laughs> and base your, and price. <laughs> price. More expensive doesn't mean better for you. You want to look for the qualities of hook you love. Sign up for email updates so you get wee freakly knit and poke patterns. <laughs> I can't remember them. So, being merely, being, being merely. <laughs> with a nice little area to grip, so yeah, a great little set. What shape, what? I don't know the next one. Oh. It's in shaft a lot in this video. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> it's slick and glossy and warm. 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 <laughs> So if you're watching a movie at night or if you're watching a movie at night or sitting in bed crocheting, what? Stop. So if you're watching a movie or sitting in bed at night, you would just turn the light on. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't crochet. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Whatever shall I do? Uh, <laughs> turn the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only I had a crochet. <laughs> Guess I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> and I will see you next week with another new pattern. Bye bye. Ta ta. Ciao. Au revoir.